Happy Mother's Day. I'm not officially saying it's Mother's Day yet because I am still going to go to sleep in the very near future and wake up into Mother's Day, but hopefully by the time you see this, um, you will be waking up from that sleep. And, uh, and if you are a mother to either a two-legged or a four-legged child, um, I'm just wishing you a fantastic day. Uh, the whole approaching Mother's Day today had, had my head spinning a little bit. I mean, my head spins a little bit on its own anyway, so let's, let's not let's not make it anything different than what it is. But I was thinking a lot about the sense of how our Mother's Day is going to be different this year. Um, being in the world of real estate, I always joke that brunch is not something that happens very often. Uh, Mother's Day is one of the one of the days that we typically would as a family get together and, and go to brunch, um, which obviously isn't going to happen tomorrow. Um, I won't I won't be able to see my own mother. Um, She's, she recently moved out of the state, so I wouldn't have probably seen her anyways, although in, in hindsight, I've, I have canceled a few trips um, to go see her over the last 60 days. So um, definitely, definitely missing her and missing the fact that I won't be able to, uh, to be there. But I started to think a little bit more just about moms in general. I am a mom myself. Um, and I started to think about with with the nature of many maternal people, um, we like to we like to protect. We like to protect our people. We like to protect our children um, from from the bad things out there. Uh, sometimes too much. Sometimes not enough. Uh, but but overall, that's I think that's what we talk about in terms of a maternal sense. How can I how can I teach my my young? How can I help them to thrive? How can I protect them from some of the ugliness of the world? And so it really got me thinking. Um, we are coming off of a week, in in my opinion, of a lot of very ugly news. I mean, sure, there are some some great things, and I know we've been talking a lot here about the successes and the wins, but there is a lot of not so good news. Um, the unemployment, which two days ago I forewarned you was going to be ugly, was just as ugly as it was expected. Um, Illinois is looking to be peaking in the virus in the next few days, if we haven't already. We are going to take over the third spot for the for the state with the highest, uh, highest confirmed cases. Um, I know that there's a lot of a lot of uh, terrible feelings about the fact that the restaurant industry is, is getting shut down at least until the end of June. I mean, that's that's heartbreaking to me. I know so many great people um, that are getting impacted by that uh, from from establishments that they own and they run and the people that work within them. Um, it just it, it felt it felt heavy this week. Um, and so I started to think about it as a as a mom um, as we are on this point of this day that we're supposed to celebrate moms and I I started to think that for as much of the, those of us that have young children have felt utterly exhausted over the last 60 days um, just from lack of time, energy, abilities, all of that for, for to have taken on this new role with our kids. Um, the fact of the matter is, is there, we can still help them to feel better incredibly easily. Right now, my, my kids, what my kids need from me at the ages of three and five are excessive love, lots of arts and crafts, lots of glitter, some extra screen time, some more attention from mom. Those things can make all of their problems right now feel like they subside. And and tonight I'm taking I'm taking solace in the fact that I can do that for my children still. I have all the abilities to make them feel better in this. I know as they get older, it gets more complicated. And I know that there are a lot of moms out there right now that are waking up and feeling like they can't make things better for their kids right now on a multitude of levels. As we've talked about, people are getting impacted by this on so many different aspects. Everyone is impacted and everyone is feeling something. It's just different. But the reality is, is that a lot of times in this is that mom can't fix it. And so I started thinking about this is that as a mom, I'm lucky that I, I have children of an age that I still can fix it. 
But as we go into this day of celebrating mothers, and, and you know that I'm all about celebrating wins and celebrating good things in this, in this more challenging time, I thought, what is the one thing that, that somebody could give their mother uh, that would probably be more important than anything else right now? And really what I came back to is that you could tell them that you're okay. You can tell them that you're resilient, that you are fighting. You can tell them that you are going to tap in and find the strength to get through this and that you guys are going to do it together. Um, because as a mom, knowing that, knowing that your, your children are, are doing what they need to do to succeed with you by their side is, is everything. So I thought I would share that tonight. Um, if you were trying to figure out what you can do to help your mother, to, to make your mother's day tomorrow, and it doesn't matter what the age of your mother, tell them that you're okay. Tell them that you're fighting. Tell them if there's something that they can do to help you, let them know what that is. Just letting them know that you are, you are okay in this. Um, I think it would go far away. And I think it would probably make them feel pretty, pretty strong um, and pretty good as a mother, which is what the day is all about. So on that note, to my mother, who is hopefully watching this, I am doing okay. We are doing okay. Okay, so be kind. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Be extra kind to your mother. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another's. Um, be smart and responsible in your social distancing. Be proud of your first responders and your essential workers. We are getting through this. Even as we're, we're peaking, even as things seem so challenging this week, we are doing this. I am so glad that you are a part of this with me. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be well.